Number 4. This is 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a 90% silver planchet. Graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, facing a coin shortage and a rising price for silver, the U.S. Mint switched to a clad composition in 1965. But there remained a large inventory of silver dime planchets, which were coined in due course, backdated 1964. The lustrous and lightly toned surfaces resemble that of a typical uncirculated clad dime, except the edge lacks telltale red stripe characteristic of the modern alloy. It was sold for $9,000. Number 3. This is 1952 D. Washington Quarter with Splendid Toning. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. Totally original, clearly a coin that was from an original 1952 Mint set, and carefully preserved. Fully lustrous, the obverse offers some interesting, almost proof-like reflection in the fields. According to Legend Rare Coin Auctions, the obverse clearly sat against the holder, which imparted a wonderful, Easter egg pastel patina over the bright, silver surfaces. Washington's portrait stands out, almost in 3D relief with exceptionally sharp definition. Likewise, the eagle is crisply defined. The surfaces are satin smooth and devoid of any kind of impairment, totally pristine. It was sold for $21,150. Number 2. Here is 1916 Buffalo Nickel with Double Die Obverse. Graded as AU50 by PCGS. Extremely clean surfaces dominate this piece. Only when using a strong glass could we find a small hidden tick on the cheek. There is a natural light luster beneath the totally original deep nickel toning. All of the details exhibit light original wear. You do not need a glass to see the double date. The eye appeal is superb for an AU50 coin. It ended up selling for $25,850. Number 1. And this is famous 2000 P. Sacagawea dollar, Washington Statehood Quarter Mule. One of only about a dozen examples known according to Stax Bowers. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. The definition of a mule is the pairing of two dies not intended to be used together. For this reason, mules are extremely rare and highly sought after. This coin is die pair 1, die crack from rim through F in of on the Sacagawea dollar side. A fully brilliant and highly lustrous superb gem Sacagawea Golden Dollar, Washington Statehood Quarter Mule, the obverse of the quarter mated with the reverse of the Sacagawea Dollar in an undated marriage from the year 2000, the year in which the first of these rare mules was discovered, as well as the first date in the Sacagawea Dollar series. Rich and lively cartwheels cascade across the satiny surface, and beautiful rose and orange iridescence engages both sides. This true rarity fetched a sum of $158,625 at auction. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this information helpful. If you did, then please consider hitting like and subscribe buttons below. Have a good one.